everyone, I'm Star Howler, and welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, we'll be talking about fursuits. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into uh, fursuits, such as like cleaning them, uh, how to go out in public and wearing them, but we're just gonna kind of touch on the basics of what different types of fursuits there are, and I think I'm gonna go into a little bit about how to commission one, because that part's pretty straightforward, I think. Um, so to start off with, we're gonna talk about the different types of fursuits. Uh, simply, there's quite a few when it comes to combination of things, but basically there's uh, partial suits, full suits, uh, yeah, it's, it's and then there's like, you know, the different parts of suits themselves. Um, the different types of partials that there are is the mini partial and like the full partial. And then there's, there's just like the partial. So there's like a weird in between. Uh, the mini partials, those usually just involve the head, the hands, and the tail. The uh, regular partial usually is like head, hands, feet, and tail. And then the full partial is the same as the regular partial, but usually including arm sleeves. And there are like three fourths, or there's a thing called three fourths or half suits. It's kind of like a partial, I would say, but it's usually something like head, hands, feet, uh, tail, and either there's a the upper, there's either the uh, torso or the upper body or legs. Um, when it comes to getting that the uh, half suit with legs, um, you can get that planty grade or digi grade. And what digi grade me or digi grade or digity grade? I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> Uh, is when there's padding in the legs that make it look more animal-like. So it'll be like padding on the front of the upper leg and padding on the back of the lower part of the leg. Alright, now getting off the subject of that and going... Uh, and then, then there's full suits. I think there's, I would say like... Um, four or five different types of full suits. There's the digigrade full suit. There's digigrade... Er, there's digigrade full suits, planty grade. Uh, full suits. There's the uh, plush suits, which that's basically uh, it's a full suit with a lot of polyfill in it to make it look like pretty much you're a giant stuffed an stuffed animal. And I hear not a lot of people get those. They look cute as fuck, but not a lot of people get those simply for the fact that they can get really hot in those. Uh, and then there's also quad suits. Quad suits are built to where there's like um, stilts of some sort in the front and possibly the back. Pretty much you're walking all on all fours. Uh, okay, so that's the different types of suits there are. And there's different styles of suit. There's like toonie, semi-toony, and realistic. Uh, you could probably figure out which of those means what, where the toonie looks really cartoony, like giant eyes, um, no realistic colors whatsoever, um, semi toony there's like, it's a, uh, it looks cartoony in a way, but there's usually like realistic colors, and then realistic, those ones, they usually natural colors, realistic proportions, usually smaller eyes, and those are the ones that are the hardest to see out of, because pretty much there's the resin eye, and then there's like a tiny piece of mesh that you're looking out of. My understanding with those, I've never worn them, I'm just listening out from what I've read about them. <laughs> um, what else is there to know about? Oh yeah, usually prices. I should probably go into that when it comes to prices. Um, usually the uh, cheapest type of fursuit part by itself uh, from what I know is usually like the tails. Just individual parts are the cheapest thing. But if you want to buy like a suit like multiple pieces, usually like a mini partial is the cheapest. And also if you're one a type of person who gets overheated super easily um, I would suggest a partial of some sort because 
if, if you're getting this first so you don't want to like put it on and then realize two seconds later like yeah I can't do this and you paid like thousands of dollars on a full digi suit and you just realize I can't wear this I'm gonna overheat and die <laughs> so yeah they're, they're, it's really picking your type of suits depending on uh, depends on what type of look you're going for and also your limits um, all right, so now we've gotten through <laughs> talking about suits, different types there are, maybe what you should go with for what you can handle. So now we're gonna go into commissioning a suit. First off, not everyone has a fursona, but just to make- yeah, I'll go into explaining anything, everything. Um, when you're commissioning a suit, you might want to have a fursona first, but if you don't have a fursona and you can find someone who can take artistic liberties and allow them to pick the species and colors or wherever you want to go. It, it depends on the maker, really. I know there's some makers where they'll like let you pick the species and you can suggest what colors you like, and then they'll go off of that. Sometimes it'll be like you'll uh, they'll just take com a complete 100% artistic freedoms on it and decide the species and colors and whatnot themselves. Um, so once you've gotten that figured out, like you got the persona picked or whatever, um, you gotta pick what type of suit you're looking for. Um, and <laughs> like, uh, I already explained what it, you should go into, kind of explain. Okay, I'm <laughs> just rambling on. Um, so you pick the type of suit you're wanting, and you gotta make sure the maker you go to can make that type of suit. Cause like, if you're looking for cheaper and you go to a newer maker, they might not be able to pull off a full DG grade suit like you're wanting. So you gotta go look for the right people. Now if they, uh, if they can pull it off, that's great. You're getting a suit, uh, that you're wanting for probably a cheaper price if you're going with a newer maker. Also, when it comes to looking for makers, you gotta remember if you do go to a newer maker, you gotta expect flaws and that's not gonna be 100% perfect because they're new. And it's just how it is. And when it comes to uh, experienced, more well known makers, like for example, um, uh, Sky Pro Costumes. They're professional, it's gonna take a long time for them to get your suit done probably, depending on like if you're doing a payment plan, if they got other orders in, how high you are on the list for when your suit's gonna be worked on, and of course it's also gonna be a lot more expensive, so most people when it comes to going to people like them, they're gonna be doing payment plans, so it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Because usually they're like, yeah, we're not going to start working on it until this much is paid, and we're not going to finish it until this much is paid. Alright, so then once you get your character, suit, style, maker picked out, also you might, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, you might want to pick a price range. Now if you got infinite amount of money and you're just like, I don't care on the price, then don't worry about this. It's just the thing I forgot. You got gotta figure out your price range because if you try to get something for a hundred dollars you're probably not gonna get the whatever suit you're looking for maybe you can get a part like a tail or hand paws feet maybe very low chance maybe a head depending on who you manage to get in contact with but usually it has to be Let's say you're wanting a head, you'd probably want to be expecting like 200 or more. If you're really lucky, you could probably get a head for 100, but it's going to be a really new maker who's not very experienced, and they're probably just making you pay for the materials rather than materials and time. And so with that, um, also when it comes to a maker giving you the price of the suit, and like what it's gonna cost. If you don't like the price, please don't argue with them on it. They have it set for a reason because you're paying for their time that they're working on it. You're paying for the materials. You're paying. You're pretty much paying for labor and materials when it comes to 
getting a suit. And then later on, depending on how many suits they've made, they may give you ahead of time the price of shipping. Usually they won't because of course they gotta make the suit, put everything in the box that they're going to because some makers throw in a few extra things uh, and then they wait and then they give you the price. So don't argue with them on the price they give you for the suit itself and don't argue with them on the price for shipping because there's a reason it's set that way. They're not scamming you, they're not trying to take all your money, they're trying to give you a fair price. If you try to reason lower, they'll either straight up ignore you or they could do something called blacklisting where they'll never take an order from you again and they may put you on a beware page of some sort depending on how bad it gets. Usually if, uh, usually makers are pretty nice in the community so they'll just be like, okay, I'm not taking your commission and then they'll just like ignore you from, <laughs> from what I know but from what I heard there's some commissioners who get super rude and then they'll get blacklisted because they've probably done it once or twice beforehand if they've gotten away with it by now but yeah just don't hassle makers like they got enough going on because they got either other suits being made or they got a life going on so like don't hassle anyone on prices that goes for any type of artist or any type of thing when you're buying it so i'd say that's oh yeah also you want to keep in contact with the maker. If you suddenly fall silent, that might not be a good thing. Like occasionally, maybe, depending on who the maker is, what I, with my current maker, I'm asking about every two weeks if they're up to date. Then if there is or isn't, I'll just be like, cool. And that's about it. <laughs> so I think that's everything now. Just, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, like and subscribe, and, um, I don't know, leave a comment if you want to, you don't have to, you don't even have to subscribe or like, you just watch the video, that's, that's all I want, is people to watch my videos. Anyway, later guys.